Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Millions of songs from artists like Taylor Swift, Harry Styles and The Weeknd will disappear from TikTok after talks between the platform and one of the biggest music companies in the world got a little bit messy. Here's Ren. Yeah, you might be a tad confused when you next open up TikTok. Because a lot of music from a huge chunk of the world's biggest artists might not be there. I'm talking Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Billie Eilish, Adele, Drake, Lady Gaga, Harry Styles. <sighs> That's not even all of them. Okay, but why? Well, Universal Music, which is the company that owns the rights to all the music from these big artists, has had a massive fight with TikTok and refused to sign a new licensing agreement, which expired today. This means millions of songs by artists like Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Billie Eilish, Adele, Drake, Lady Gaga, Harry Styles, will be pulled from the platform. You see, Universal thinks TikTok isn't paying their artists enough money to use their music. It says TikTok massively relies on popular music to grow its user base, make more ad money, and just generally stay on top of its game. So it wants its artists to be paid fairly to reflect that. But TikTok disagrees, saying it's disappointed by the move, and has accused Universal of putting its own greed above the interests of their artists and songwriters by taking them off such a big platform. So yeah, things Things are pretty messy and uh, many are hoping they can figure it out soon because when you take away the music, TikTok dancers just look, yeah. It was cricket's night of nights last night as the best of the best were crowned at the Australian Cricket Awards. Ash Gardner took home the Belinda Clark Award for being the best women's player, while Mitch Marsh took out the Allen Border Medal for the men. Well, a new school year is upon us, and so are new concussion guidelines for kids playing sport. Here's Josh with the details. I play AFL, I play swimming, or I do swimming. I play tennis and I do gymnastics. I play footy, AFL and basketball. Yeah, we Aussies play a lot of sport. But with that comes a lot of something else, concussions. They're caused by knocks to our head or body that can cause our brain to shake or twist inside our skull, which can happen quite a lot in some sports. It can damage the cells in our brain and affect how it functions, causing confusion, dizziness, nausea, or even make you black out. They can also take quite a while to recover from, and getting back in the game too early can sometimes make things worse. So today, the Australian Institute Institute of Sport has released new guidelines around how youth and community sport clubs should treat them. It says athletes should rest for 14 days after a concussion before returning to contact training, and 21 days before returning to competitive contact sport. And it wants concussion officers to be appointed in schools and clubs. At the moment, the new guidelines are just recommendations, so sports clubs will decide for themselves if they follow them or not. But some think it should be mandatory. So what do you reckon? I do think sidelining players for three weeks is definitely a good idea. Safety first. I think we're making the right move, yeah. If we don't, they'll go out there, get more injured, and then they'd be benched for even longer. <laughs> Oh, hey, you caught me just reading a book. <laughs> you know, just chilling. <laughs> kind of like these next stories. First up to Belgium, where local farmers are cooking up a nice feed of chips in the middle of a highway, which they blocked off with their tractors and some hay bales. They're protesting the EU's proposed new rules on farming and imports and say they're not getting paid fairly for the food they grow. This here is a 285-year-old lemon with some writing scratched into its rind. It was found inside this chest and was put up for auction for a bit of fun, but ended up selling for $2,700. Hey, when life gives you lemons. And finally to Alaska, where a huge snowman has been built in someone's front yard, towering over its human subjects at six metres tall. The town of Anchorage has already had two and a half metres of snowfall this season, the fastest in the town's history. The end of the show. That's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.